everyone welcome back to the vlog i know i haven't done it in a while but it is officially my last week of med school for the year we're almost done with m1 year which is so weird but we have two tests left and then we're one fourth of the way to be doctor so let's go so exciting but i wanted to bring y'all on my last week just to show you we don't have any more classes today was our last day of classes which was strange because next year we move into a different room and everything. So today was the last day of class in our normal room, RIP 122. However, now we get to move to 124, which is exciting, but it's kind of weird that we're like no longer gonna be the new kids on the block, but yay, I can't wait. But we're doing some fun things this week. Tomorrow we have a class cookout. And then I think this weekend we're kind of just chilling. We have something called primary care day, which is gonna be really fun when we get to do all of these really cool things and finally be hands-on. And yeah, so exciting. So today was kind of just full of studying for our test last week. And then we had a quiz today. And then we came back and got ready. Cue the Hailey Bieber hair that I tried to do with the braids. Because why would you not want to be Hailey Bieber? Because we love her. And now we're about to head to our cookout. Where it's just going to be like our entire class and their families. And just have burgers. I think we're tie-dyeing, doing some outdoor games. Which will be fun, but I want to go around and ask everyone what their favorite memory from M1 year is. Just so we can look back on it one day. And so I'm going to start with mine. And my favorite M1 memory was whenever we had field day before school even started with our houses. And Anna and I sacrificed ourselves on the dodgeball field in order to win it for our team. And it's something I'll never forget. And it made us friends, which I'm very thankful for. So... My favorite memory was going to the fair because it was right after we started hanging out with all our friends and I feel like it was just so much fun and a good memory. Everything was playing in a real sports with the guys. <laughs> my favorite memory was the Halloween party which just so happened to fall on my birthday. And all my friends, all my new friends dressed up in um, holidays so that I could dress up as birthday. And Coleman pronounced my name wrong in front of everyone. So. Hey, we're going to sing happy birthday to Leia. Uh -oh. <laughs> There's so many, but like we, <laughs> I'm not gonna camera. <laughs> so we had taco night one night, and we did games, and that was a lot of fun. Spring break was my favorite M1 memory because it was so fun. Everyone was together and having such a good time and not studying. My favorite memory from first year of medical school was placing a fake eviction notice on the door of one of my friend's apartments. <laughs> Your girl bad bitch if she just have more doses. Oh yeah, they <laughs> <laughs> memory, going to Dr. Brown's party in the Jeep with the top down. Not to mention, it's a manual, so I was driving stick shit with the top down. <laughs> with the lay on. He had to flex. Top 10 oil. That's top 10 oil. Top 10 oil of my life. My life. Not that not mixed with my life. <laughs> My top six, because I get six, because I'm six times as important. <laughs> or the field day at orientation, the Meridian walks with the VIPs, the winning the Hawaiian Day concert, the birthday party at my house, uh, the time I went to the soccer field and got close to a couple of my roommates, Nikki and Johnny, and what was the other one that I said? I said six. Orientation? I think I already said that one. You didn't know what it was. He did say orientation. Yeah, I did already say that one. We're gonna stick with those top five. I forgot the six that went that important. I know I for sure will not forget in 50 years when my favorite professor, Dr. Brown, had tricks the entire class that one of our classmates drank a cup of pizza. I'm not gonna forget that. <laughs> favorite memory it was probably singing karaoke with Coleman at Finian's um, after we finished Histology. Um, just a, a classic night with the classic quote, can you hear me and see my slides? Can you hear me and see my slides? back with another day full of studying yesterday we went to primary care day and we got to learn how to do so many cool things which it was kind of our first hands-on thing at school we've done a few things but we got to do a lumbar puncture which was really cool and i thought i wouldn't be able to do it but i got fluid which was really exciting we learned how to do a pelvic exam we learned how to intubate both a human and a baby which was really cool it was kind of weird because i was like i really don't want to ever intubate a baby because they were so small and everything was so small 
it's kind of scary but it was really exciting they told us we'd probably be able to get to do that third year which was cool since we haven't really done a lot of hands-on stuff and then we also got to look into the otoscopes which was really cool because we got to do it on our partner which was kind of the first time we've had like human contact besides oskies so yeah it was really fun i didn't really get any clips because i didn't know if i was allowed to but i'll kind of show you some clips from us studying today kind of our last big day of studying i guess we'll be studying tomorrow too but we're almost there <laughs> last day to study at the school for in one year which is really weird but it shouldn't be that bad today i think we're just gonna be chill this is the fit with the socks even though it's literally 80 degrees outside so yeah can't wait to finally be done studying for neuro tomorrow how does it feel to be walking into the school for the last time to study so crazy this is unreal right now. I never thought this moment would come. We're about to try so hard. She's lying. <laughs> Let's go. Last study day at the school. Cannot wait for this yeah. to be done. We just got done with our last <laughs> test-ish because we still have a board, but we're done. So exciting. Now we're gonna go shop and go to Costco and do whatever we want. Eat lunch, eat dinner, go to a brewery. Who knows what we do? I finished my test in literally an hour and a half because I didn't know anything, but we're done and it feels so great. And I'll be going home for a week, which is so nice. And then, yeah, I'll tell you what Abby and Alia thought of him one year, but it just feels amazing to be done. It was very anticlimactic, which is not what I thought, but I'm finally done. One fourth of a way to be a doctor. Let's go. No cameras, How do you please. feel about no being cameras. done? Thank God is all I have to say. It was a tough year. I mean, I learned a lot. Probably not as much about the human body as I needed to, but more about myself and about how I need to calm down. Johnny, 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 Johnny. 